Hello everyone, this is Kyle from Minecraft Education Edition, and today I wanted to do a video that dives a little bit deeper on multiplayer permissions and what this means for your classroom experience. I've started my game here and I've started a single player game, meaning I selected play when I generated my world. This means I have a single player world and nobody can join my world. There's, it's a single player world. If I go to the pause screen and I go to multiplayer, I can now choose to start hosting a world. If I select start hosting, I'll confirm that it's okay for other players to join my world if they have my join code. Once I start hosting, I'll have a join code. In this case, it is book and quill, Alex, Panda, Steve. This is the code I give to my classmates who want to join my world. I can also set the settings for how people will join my world. Now I have it set at visitor. If I have it set at visitor, anybody who joins my world can freely explore, but they can't interact with blocks, items, or other entities. I can also change them to member, which allows them to interact with the world. And I can also change them to operator, which gives them additional permissions, such as slash commands and other features. Looking in my world, I can see here that we've had somebody join the world. James S. has joined my world. Now that James has joined my world, I have the option to regenerate my join code. If I regenerate, this means that nobody else can join the world with me and James if they do not have the new join code. If at some point I see James as being disruptive and I want to change his permission levels, I can also do so here. I can move him to visitor. Or if I decide that I no longer want to have James in my world, I can also remove the player. And if I remove player, it'll ask me to confirm and James is no longer in my world. And for good measure, I can even just refresh the join code or stop hosting altogether. So this has been a little bit on multiplayer permissions. Please feel to reach out to our service desk with any questions or concerns that you might have.